Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, edit the front page of your website. So once you log in, you'll be again, as I said, presented with the dashboard. You're going to go to pages, click on all pages. And then you're going to come down and look high level gas equipment. And how do we know it's the front page? Because it states the front page. We told WordPress that this is the front page. So now we need to open up an Elementor. There's two, three ways that we can do this. So we could either click on edit with Elementor directly, or you could click edit, which will load the back end of that page and then click on edit, edit with Elementor. Or the personal way that I like to do it is that I like to have a different tab open. So if we're going to edit the front page, then we will navigate. Let's just go to contact us. So if we were to edit the contact page, we'll go through to the contact page just like this. And then we will click on edit with Elementor. But just for example, uh, for this tutorial, we'll go back and edit the home page. So now it's loaded. We're going to click edit with Elementor. So now the reason why I've done this is that we've still got access to the back end if we need it, and we've got access to the front end. Now uh, Element is a visual page builder, which is lovely, and it's used by most of the developers out there nowadays using WordPress. And the loading time, it take it's all dependent on the speed of your uh, internet. If it doesn't load and just gives you that white screen, then most likely you've installed a plugin that uh, is conflicting. So then you'd have to start investigating, deactivating the plugin and, and that. But if you don't add any more plugins, there, uh, if, um, that you've already, uh, well, any more plugins, sorry, then you won't have any of those issues with Elementor not loading. So as you can see, Elementor is loaded and it is your front page. Okay. So it is your front page. We've got some sections here that we've just put spaces in and that which we'll show you how to get rid of. Okay, we scroll it down here, and there's your uh, top sellers here, which if we're to come back to this page here and hover over your title name and right click, open in a, a new tab, visit site, when it loads, you'll see that it looks identical to your front page, just like that. Okay, obviously your front page, we've got other stuff in here, so we can just delete them just like this just like that if they're not being used then we don't need them they could have been moved uh, for trial purposes while we were developing it but as you can see we don't need them anymore so we can just leave them because this all takes up loading space see okay so now let's just click update to update that section there And as you can see, it loads, and then there's a little purple band. This band used to be green. So if you're looking at any other Elementor tutorials and it's showing green or blue, that was their older versions. This is the latest version of Elementor. So as you can see now, it matches the front page. So now, let's say you want to change the image at the back. So as you can see, you've got your sections here, and then you've got individual uh, the purple icons of your um, sorry your row row uh, um, row settings. So if you just click on it, we can plus it, we can exit, that will obviously delete it, or we can just edit section. So now these are your settings here. So you see now it's not changing the height or the image, but it's actually changing the, the, the column width for the wording and this other column here. So let's just put that back to normal. We've got it set at 90, uh, sorry, 73, and that is your height, just like that if you want it to be a bit smaller. So if you wanted it to be like that, so, it, uh, so the banner's not so big, it's up to you. But we went with 73, so you can at least see the image. We've got vertical alignments. As you can see, you make it top, bottom. That's just how the vertical positioning, top, just like that. Stretch will mean that the column stretch, as you can see there. We've got bottom, or oh, we've got the middle. Okay. So that's how you change those settings. If we go to the style, come there's your image here. So if we to click on it, now I'm not gonna save any of these settings, okay? So we'll just choose this image here and insert. Then you'll see the image changes just like that. Okay, now let's say, oh, I've done that, but I can't remember. Let's just reload the page. And I'll show you if the reload the page doesn't work, we'll show you what we do then. Because sometimes it is an auto save, so don't be alarmed. There is another way around it. Just 
to let this page load there you go so the auto save uh, we, we we were able to refresh the page before the auto save uh, kicked in so if there ever happens where you've made a change and you know, I don't like that and you can't find the image or can't remember what was there if you come back down the bottom and click on history and click on re revisions just like this this will show you everything that's happened on the page so it show you one month ago I did something two months ago show you everything that's done two minutes ago here current section uh, two minutes ago everything like that and if you click on it it actually loads what was done And then let's just see that it just loads what was done. So obviously that could have been the reload. Uh, so let's go back to two minutes ago or three minutes. Uh, sorry, three weeks ago. And you should see it should start loading all those other items in. If I apply it, let's apply it quick. Don't know what seems to be happening here, but the revisions are quite are quite handy. There we go. All the stuff's being applied. Now, this is what we did when this was we removed these sections when we first opened it. So now you can go back. So let's just go back and delete those, just like this, because we we said we didn't need them. Okay. So there you go. Scroll down. There's more down here, just like that, and another one, just like that. Okay. So that's the handiness of the the history. Okay, as you can see here, section move, remove. This is what has just started, edited and started, just rem and we've just removed all of these sections here. Okay, so now to come back to editing the actual design and the layout. So we've changed the image back to what we said, but now let's say we want to change all of these. Now the beauty with Elementor is when you understand how Elementor works, editing the rest of your your pages and your your product layout or your shop layout is exactly the same so you add buttons you add titles you add you add colors same with the header it's just everything is it works with columns with elementor and rows so once you start getting an idea for how elementor works you're, you're limitless so this section here is an icon if we're to just type in icons at the top here and we drag it down here we'll just put it in there there's your icons we'll stretch it out there you go hard to see let's just make the writing white There you go, just like that, and basically that's what's up there. So the, the, the options that you've got for the header are also the same options you've got in the page here. All right, so let's just go down where it says, welcome to high level gas, uh, high level gas equipment. As you can see here, this is the writing here. You've got an option to put a link. I wouldn't advise it on the writing like that, but if you wanted it to link to the shop, then you just put the shop link in there. Some settings here, if you want some style this is where we change the style just like this there you go okay typography this is your family font just there there's your sizing there's your boldness now the beauty of this is that this widget is called a heading widget if we scroll down here and we click on this one here it's heading widget again and the settings are exactly the same it's just we've made it look different, use different fonts, use different styles, different height. So that's the beauty of it. So that's how you'd edit that section there. If we scroll down here, we come to a button. Again, all the settings are on the right. We've got it linking through to the shop. Okay, there's our. So view our range, we can say view our online store. And as you can see, it comes up here straight away. Okay, so let's just put that back to range. All right, just like that. You, again, can change it to make it as full width if you want. Come down to style. There's a change there. I'm just going to copy this color code. We can make it black and then hover. See, hover, hover, we've actually got the same color. So let's make it black here. Or actually, let's make it white and we make the text like that. There you go. That's how you do it. So it's very simple and it's really easy to use when you get used to it, but you've got to take that time to actually get used to it. Remember, if you make a mistake or if you break anything, then you've got your history and revisions down here. If we scroll lower down, we've got a column, we've got a style, we've got an image there, and then when you go to the hover, there's the other image. Here's the uh, all the width and everything like that. And that's how you change, the, so when you hover over, 
this uh, image changes, same as this side. So these columns here, you could literally just duplicate it like that, right click on the column and duplicate it and you've got another column. And then just change the image. So if we click here again, this is again heading. Okay, same thing, we've got it linking through style. We've got a button, but what we've got now is instead of having that big bulky blue in the middle, which is what we didn't want, we go to style and we make the background uh, see-through. Just like that, you see. Make it transparent, but we're going to change it on the hover. And that's it there, just like that. If we scroll down here, we've got one column, two column, we've got it inserted. So if you click on the column at the top, uh, the Rubik's Cube at the top, we've got intersections here. So now you can add, if we just do it in this one here. Oh, that won't allow us to do it. There we go, sorry. Now, we've within a column, we can have two other columns. Okay. So then you could line them up. So that's how we built it here. Okay, again, same thing. Click there, click on style. There's your back, your background image. There's your hover image. There's your edit. So effectively, it's, it's once you get the layout and you get your mind what you're doing, you can effectively copy and paste, which is really, really nice. If we scroll down to top sellers, again, it's the header. Click onto this section. This is a WooCommerce product grid. We can have four items, we can change it to five. The reason why we went four like this was just, just because it showed the image in. If you watch, we go to five, this uh, eco cooker top is cut off. And there you go. And then if you go again, go to style. Here's all your style in here. Title, short description, price. You can have whatever you want. You can change it up to whatever you want. Here's the layout here, you've got different layout, show image show regular price, we've got short description, we can add the category on if we wanted. See now it's showing the category, we turn it off, there's a category there. We turn it off, that Chad O'Chef is gonna disappear, there we go. As you can see, we've got everything uh, for um, a random, so every time someone comes back, it will actually, it will actually be different items. Okay, just keeps it fresh. And that way, every time Google comes back, the pages are, and the, sorry, the products are different, and uh, it looks like new content's been added. Okay, so now I've just updated that page to make sure that everything is the same as we left it. Okay, so that is how you'd edit your front page. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna come to this tab here, we're gonna go to contact, and we're gonna close this one because we finished with it. And we're going to go to the contact us page and we're going to edit this with Elementor just so that you can see that the pages are the same. Sorry, not the pages are the same because they're two different pages, but the, the, the page builder is the same. It's just we've styled it differently. So when this opens, here's your, here is your row at the top here, as you can see there. Click there, you've got style. Could put a background let's make it red there you go you've got a nice background now close that we've got an intersection see here we've got intersection here we've got a column we've got intersection click here you've got again style if we click on this section here we've got a form if you wanted to add items you can click on this item here and there's your different items so they can upload a file they can select an option and that if you wanted there's your input size, small, medium, large. You got your email, all fields. This is going to hello. This is the email subject. This is where it's going to come from. Okay, so as you can see there, yes, it's a different widget because now out of all of these widgets on the left here, we've chosen the form widget, which is, just find it, which is this widget here. That's the one we chose. Um, there are other uh, contact form uh, plugins you can use. I just find the one with um, Elementor's easiest, it's quickest to load. And to be honest, I've never had any issues of mail delivery from using it. Okay, so let's just show you here. We've got subject. I've just now seen that there's a T there. So as you can see, the placeholder affects the placeholder here. Hello there, as you can see there. And then the label side of it is what will be sent to you in an email. So you'll be able to see in an email that it will say subject, colon, and the subject. Okay. 
If we come to the right hand column, this is just a column that we've got the background, that color. And again, this is just a, a, an icon. If we could add the phone number there, we'll just choose and put a phone number. Here's where your widgets, we'll just put phone. Let's just choose this one here. And there you go. Put your number in, just like that. So that's how you edit your front page. But now you can also see that's how Element is the same. It's the same concept, just the page is different. So I'm just going to update this. So the page is different in a way where we were editing the home page and the contact us page. But the page builder is exactly the same. So that's how you edit your pages. In the next video, we'll speak to you on how to do your header, how to edit your header, which is this top section here.